If you listed the following three methods, you are correct. Parent interview, which is emphasized by the author, observation, and directed testing. Now let's discuss the four steps of the assessment as recommended for the CCITSN. The first step is preparation of materials, followed by an interview with the parent or caregiver. Note that, based on the recommendation of the authors, the first step of preparation has been expanded to include parental or family interview. This step is the best way to begin the assessment by recognizing the expertise of the family and by gathering information to assess areas that cannot be directly observed, such as bedtime and bath time. The second step is observation of the child in a natural play setting for at least 15 to 20 minutes. The third step is directed assessment to assess any items not scored through interview or observation. All items that are developmentally appropriate for the child are to be completely scored by the end of this step. Further information on scoring will be reviewed later. Finally, the fourth step is to complete the developmental progress tar chart to d visually display the child's current level of functioning. This chart is helpful for families and providers to have a visual depiction of the child's assessments and progress over time. Now let's look at each of the major steps in more detail. You will want to follow the suggestions listed on this slide when preparing to conduct an assessment using the CCITSN. Please jot down your answers and move to the next slide. We examined the importance of using materials in the child's natural environments and looked at the benefits of doing so. We know that first, the child may feel more comfortable, more capable, and less distracted by using materials which are familiar. And you are more likely to get a realistic picture of how the child functions in daily routines in his or her environment. Are there other reasons you believe using materials in the natural environments benefits the child? Use the margins in your handout to jot your notes down before moving on. The second part of step one is conducting a parent or caregiver interview, as recommended by the CCITSN authors. During this interview, become familiar with the parent's views and concerns for their child. Explain the purpose of the assessment and answer any questions they may have. Affirm that they are the experts for their child and respect their opinions. Ask as many questions as is comfortable to assess daily routines that cannot be easily observed, especially in the personal social domain. Allow the child to play comfortably as you talk and to see that you are a trusted adult. Once the interview is complete, enter scores in the assessment log for all items for which you have gained information before going on to the next step. You will find that you may be able to to complete up to approximately a fourth of the items in this step. On the next screen, we will watch a video about starting a relationship with a parent.